So, a lot of YouTubers out there who collect wrestling figures mostly do fix-ups on their figures. Whether it's making them better, whether it's making them worse, whether it's making them something completely different. Fix-ups are both good and bad, and that's that. So, I've done a lot of fix-ups with my figures, whether it's swapping some parts, uh, painting some parts, uh, just a simple repaint of something, or just adding the slightest little accessory may just give you a fix-up. I may have some royalty in here, too. So, yeah. With that, let's just get started with the fix-ups video right now. So first off, we have the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. If you are unaware, he won the Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck. So, what did I do with this figure? Nothing much. All I did was just a simple torso swap, sort sort of. Well, yeah, it's sort of a torso swap. So, I can't really find the, the original torso that was on here. And if I do, it's probably under all the mess back there. I could try looking for it, but... Yeah, that's just going to be hell to look for, all just for a, a plastic torso. So, all I did with this is just a simple torso crack. I put the uh, Triple H style torso onto the Elite 59 Kurt Angle lower half, and it fits on there pretty perfectly. I put the whole Triple H torso on there, and I just decided to put the bottom half of the Kurt Angle torso on there. To make it look like after the match where he's had everything down, I don't know, it's it's a good fix up and I also fixed up uh, my undisputed WWE Championship by just putting a decal across here. I don't know, it's still usable. So yeah, that's like one of the figures, just caught in time, that's not really a fix up. Or it is a fix up, but it's nothing really that big. So now let's get on to the next one. The next one is is Doc Gallows, Luke Gallows, whatever the hell you want to call him. This is a combination of both of both the, his Bullet Club days and his WWE days. So all I did with this was first off I switched the arm out with Undertaker because the arm, the hand was very loose. I don't have the hand with me now. It's somewhere in that rubble. And all I did with the head scan was, I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera, but I repainted the head scan. So all I did was just paint it all white. And then add some design here, and it, it looks pretty good. I had a black around the eyes, black back here. I don't know, I'm thinking about adding a Bullet Club logo here. So that is Luke Gallows. Up next, we have this Goldberg fix up, and it's nothing really that big. I did switch the knee pad out with a bigger one because for some reason it came with these two short ones. And when I was. Doing the swaps, one of the arms broke off, so I had to go all out and put new arms on there, and these are Ryback arms, and put the Universal title on there with the gold tip, which I'll get into that in a different video. And actually, I put a Larry Zabisco torso on here, and I put one of these, I don't know what they're called, but it's to make the figure's torso less loose, it makes it more tight and stiff. And, I don't know, Larry Zabisco torso works out pretty good. They gave him, like, a Triple H style torso where he's ripped up, like, on steroids. And yet, and yet, Goldberg was bigger at the time. So, yeah, that's Goldberg. Let's get to the next one. Up next, we have the TNF Seth Rollins. And this did not, this was not, not really a lot of swaps. But what I did with this is I put the basic knee pads on there 85 i don't know you gotta be careful with these because they will rip on you this is gonna come up with with the other figures too and what i actually did is i took chris jericho arms and i put those onto here and i didn't like the arms that that the figure was using because it had the new arm articulation I, I may have the arms up here the arms are what i'm looking for right now they might be up here or i know for a fact that they're up here I just don't know where they are. I don't know. I did I did repaint the arms to the point where the red had red in them. Which reminds me, shout out to the WWE fan talk show. 
Because that was, a, that was the inf inspiration. Uh, they're somewhere I know, but I just can't find them. So, yeah, Seth Rollins fix up with the with the Chris Jericho arms and I actually put two open hands on there so he can throw rip cords any other way. I don't know, I did that with my Okada figure, so either way, next one. So this next one's kind of controversial cuz we're never going to get a figure of him ever again. And this is the Legends 2 Jimmy Superfly Snuka and fuck, I can't tell you how rare this is. It's one of the rarest figures. It's of course the Legends Jimmy Snuka. They never re-released this cuz of his real life issues but anyway i got this from sans the kid 24 shout out to him and when i got it the figure was just busted okay everything from the crotch piece down was fine but the torso was completely gone it was actually broken off and it was just like a torso with like the torso was completely fine but it was just not on the body so I tried cracking it, it didn't work. I picked up a Tito Santana Elite, and I used that torso for this. It did not glue all the way, but hey, I fixed some royalty, and I gave him a better torso, and I think it looks pretty good for Jimmy Superfly Snuka. So now, next. So this next one is two of the exact same wrestler. Um, all I did with this was put some different arms in here. So these are the exact same figures. A uh, shout out to Cloud Kid and Luigi Kid for hooking me up. Actually, I hooked them up with this a couple years ago and they gave it back. So, this one was mine and all I did with it was every kept everything the same, but I switched the arms out. These arms are actually Vladimir Kozlov arms. Basic arms with the Brock Lesnar hands and wrist and wrist gauntlets. And all I did is just put the Jimmy Johns logo on there. Same there. I want to put a new logo on there and the Everlast logo since WWE and Mattel cannot put the rights or Mattel didn't have the rights to put them on there so they left it blank. And this one's a street gear one which I took the Suplex City shirt that was on here and put that on there. And these arms are actually Vladimir, not blah, Vladimir Kozlov, Andre the Giant arms. And this is the exact same figure. These are Brodus Clay track pants. And I did the exact same thing from this I did the exact same thing that I did on that Brock Lesnar to this one. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. Just with bigger logos. And reason being, well, why'd you make two Brock Lesnars? So that way I have one in his gloves, and if I'm playing or doing a pick fed, then he can take the gloves off and start bashing in heads. And it's the same thing pretty much. Like two identical Brock Lesnars, just one's used for street gear. So that's what this one is. So now let's move on to the next fix up. So this next fix-up is a fix-up Sami Zayn from his classic NXT days. It's sort of a mixture between his modern day and classic NXT. So what I did is I took the uh, Target exclusive basic Sami Zayn head scan and put that on here. Uh, this is the Elite 51 body. I painted the red belt going on here. Painted these parts red. Switch the elbow pads. Actually, these are the these are the Target exclusive elbow pads, and actually, I did paint the Ole on the back, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty good fix up. I do like it. Plus, this kind of had the reverse effect with my basic Sami Zayn, so I put my Elite 51 head on that basic, and for some reason, it had the reverse effect. That one was loose and a bit taller. This one sits a little bit low, but it has the right effect, so I love it. So now, let's, now we're almost done with the video, so let's move on to the next set of fix-ups. So this next one, this one I'm going to save for last. This one's not really a fix-up, it's more of just a little accessory. So I got this figure from Zanza Kid 24 shout out to him. Made a video about it a long time ago. So when I got this, uh, did not come with the NXT title, did not come with any of these accessories. I had, originally, before this channel started, I had got an Elite 46 Finn Balor for my birthday and I had well not this year I'd say like two three years ago I think two years ago I think it might have been last year I yeah I think it might have been last year I don't know but when I did um there was like it didn't come with the accessories at all and I had the extra elite fi uh, 46 accessories because apparently Sansa kids said that his were loose they fell off so he just gave them to Cloud Kid and Luigi Kid, so I threw the accessories on here, they fit, and this thing right here, 
This little flap thing is from the Elite Victor from the Ascension. I got that in the trade from Cluck and Luigi Kid, and I put that on there. And it matches pretty good. I do want. I'm thinking about removing the, the design. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this is not really a fix up, but it is something different. It didn't really do part switching. Did fix it up though. When I got this, sand said that the torso was a little bit messed up and. Like when I, like when I bend it right here, it looks like it'll come undone. So I'll fix that for myself. And then this entrance grates I got yesterday, and I didn't really do anything with it. However, it's not done yet. It's almost done. Shout out to my damn toys for this. So what I did is I painted the white soles on here. It, they do look pretty good. It's not finished though. I still want to add some red. That's that. So. Now, we're going to move on to the last one, which you people are going to think I'm actually insane for. Or actually, I actually forgot to throw this, this figure in there. I just realized that. So, it's not done yet, but this one's a little bit done. So, this is a Joker Baller I use a lot. And I, I looked at the, like, the colors match, so I just painted the head scan like a Joker. And the arm or the hand from the original one broke off, so I had to switch that. Nothing that big, like like I stated. So next one, it's almost this video is almost done, but I forgot about him. So let's get on to the next one. So this next one is not really a fix up; it's more of a custom, but I consider it. So if you remember the battle pack that came with the Shane McMahon figure, I got that from Cloud Kid and Luigi Kid, and I, and all I paid for it, I got that. I didn't pay anything for it, but I put that head scan on this body. I put the shield arms on there on the body, and the legs are Elite 48 Dean Ambrose along with the shirt. The torso is not Elite 48. The torso is actually the shield figure. So, um, how do I how do I do this? Um, I'll just do a snap effect. So that's the figure. I put a the Dean Ambrose torso on here, it has the Dean and Brian torso, it did split a little bit though while doing that, so like when I bend it like there, it looks like it'll come undone, I don't know, I'll fix that, so I do love this, I do want to put a bigger torso on here and put blank arms, I'm thinking about doing that, I don't know, I have a set of blank arms lying around somewhere, I don't know, I'll probably just use uh, the extra Larry's Abisco arms, I got it, no, it's Corbin, whatever. I'll just use those arms. So anyway, now let's get to the last portion of this video. The big customs or fix-ups. So I bet some of you right now probably think I'm fucking insane. Because I think I am sometimes. So you know I'm a huge AJ Styles fan. I collect a lot of his figures. I almost have the biggest collection. But freaking Hero Figs had to ruin it. Why Hero Figs? Nah, nah, nah I'm kidding. I, I love Hero Figs. I love him to death. He's... He's a badass. So I gotta wrap this up soon. So, um, start with this one. So this did no switching with it at all. The logo was chipping here, so I had to paint it at the top. And I did nothing with this except put a different elbow pad on here. The way that that elbow pad was, was it had, uh, this mold of an elbow pad. So I put a bigger one on there. And I had knee pads too, but again, they split too. So you gotta be careful with that when you're doing that. So... That's one, AJ. Uh, let's go with this one. This is based off of Royal Rumble, and I did nothing really with this. The only thing I did was just switch the arms from Elite 41, no, 51, and then paint the attire black and add knee pads that fit. Same, uh, this one, it's sort of the attire, just, just black instead of blue. So this one also has the black right here. Painted that, painted the belt too, black, painted the logo black, painted the gloves black, and even got black inside of there. Last one's Elite 61, and all I did with that is add the United States title, and painted the inside of the glove right there, since it wasn't painted, and then added knee pads. AJ figures, for some reason, except for the top talents I'm getting for Christmas, I'm hoping did not so that's all the fix-ups thank you all for watching see you all in the next video and i'm just gonna wrap it up with eight with all the ages like that thanks for watching and bye